Pat. Nice to meet you. Oh. Of course, how's it going? Um, I, wait, are you in the, the documentary? Yeah, are you in I'm it? in the documentary. Okay, cool, awesome. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, can you tell me about your involvement within the documentary? Sorry, say that again. Can you tell me about your involvement within the documentary? Yes. Uh, Corey asked me to be a part of this after he saw my uh, articles, uh, my sexual abuse that happened with me. And, um, sorry. He asked me to be a part of it. He just, um, sorry, it's, it's a lot to talk about. It's crazy. But uh, I just give a little insight and uh, my truth to what happened with my sexual abuse and like coming out against my abuser all of it and just like talking about how how it's affected me my trauma and stuff like that and how I can help to like remind people and be aware like that it can happen to you too because I mean it happens all around the world in families not just the entertainment business but you know all levels of life all walks so I'm just I'm just grateful that he asked me to be a part of it I'm just very, very happy that he asked me. Like, I love Corey. He's such a big brother to me. Yeah. Um, can I ask, what made you want to speak out? What gave you the courage to do that? Honestly, it was my friends, my family. I, I, I couldn't have done this without them. Uh, it was a lot to talk about at first, but, you know, now that I'm, my story is out, now that so, I got a lot of people on my side, I got a lot of support and love, knowing that, like, I can be an inspiration to others, it's only helping me more to like stand up for the victims and just be be that person that people can look up to because I mean I don't want anyone else to deal with what I had to go through but the fact of the matter it's going to the sad reality is it's it's happening today and this is something that more and more people need to be aware of and uh, the more we can get this information out the more lives we can save you know that's it what advice would you have for anyone out there um, in the entertainment industry and wider um, if they are too afraid to speak out, um, how would you help them? I would just say like please talk to somebody about it. I know like it might be hard to talk about it. You might be scared that no one will believe you. You might be scared that you know no one's ever going to support you or love you or people are going to look at you differently but you need to speak your truth. You need to be honest with yourself. You need to you just need to live in what's happening. You know what's happening, and if you're scared about it, it's okay. Like, there are other people out there that are dealing with the same thing. You're not alone. Nobody's alone in this, and we're all here to support each other, and we're all here to help each other through this, you know? Do you remember when you first met Corey um, and having a, a connection? What was that like? First meeting Corey, it was uh, it was actually shooting for this documentary. He we talked a lot of it over the phone, and when I actually saw him, it was just like it was mind-boggling. I, I showed up to his house. I was uh, a little nervous, apprehensive at first, cause like, you know, again, I had never met him. I looked up to him ever since I was a little kid, though. Uh, watching The Goonies, Stand by Me, like those films really impacted me as a little kid. And just like seeing this legend in front of me, I'm like. He's doing so much to help so many people around the world. And, like, he actually asked me, like, it was honestly, I was a little starstruck. But, like, I, again, I'm so grateful that he asked me. So meeting Corey was, it was definitely, like, I think it was fate. It was God bringing us together in a way, you know? And what do you hope people will take away from seeing the film? Uh, how will it change their life? I think that people can, I, I, I'm hoping that people can be more open. People can accept their truth you know, live in their truth, they can talk to more people. If anyone has been, you know, hiding, you know, about whatever abuse that they went through, they can talk to somebody about it. Because the first time you talk to somebody, that's when you can become stronger. Like, the first, the, I think the hardest part is talking about it. Talking about it is, it's a very big struggle. Like, I was, I never wanted to accept it. But, you know, once you finally accept it, that's the first step. And uh, that's, the, that's the hardest step. So I'm hoping that people can uh, make that first step. Thank you so much for chatting and sharing your story with us. Um, and enjoy the premiere tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Pat, awesome. Lovely to meet you. Nice to um, meet you. How important is it to be here tonight supporting Corey? So it's incredible. I mean, it's been a long journey. And, you know, it's just like the wave of Hollywood that has been 
you know, taking over Hollywood and kind of keeping people accountable is just beginning. And so Corey's been on this intense journey for the last, you know, I don't know, 10 years. So it'll be really interesting to see what this is, you know, what happens here tonight. Yeah. And what have you been up to recently? Uh, I just did a movie with uh, Bruce Dern and Taryn Manning, and I just shot a comedy special. It's going to come out in May of 2020, and, uh, you know, just out here plugging away. And how important is it to start uh, a conversation about what Corey's talking about in the film? How what? How important is it to start a conversation? It's beyond important. I mean, you know, there's a lot of things in Hollywood that are not good, and, you know, what Corey is talking about is the worst. You know, this is one of the worst issues in Hollywood. So this needs to be talked about and exposed. So yeah, I mean, this is very important. And how do you think that we can make a change? Uh, you gotta weed out all, you know, you gotta weed out all the people, expose the, you know, what's happening. And, you know, people need to be, everything has to be, safe and everybody has to be transparent you know what i mean it's just you gotta this can't be any you know everything has to be regulated super regulated you know but just keep you know parents and have to 24 7 with their kids and you know young people who are coming out here to hollywood have to have the best guardians around them preferably family and you know start there and find out who's bad have you noticed a change over the last five to ten years uh, in hollywood um, well, over the last three years, for sure, there's been a big change. Like, uh, I feel that, I feel like there's a lot more women in positions that I didn't normally see them in. Not that they didn't see them, but I see more women in more of those positions. And it's um, a much chiller atmosphere. I've done a couple of episodes of TV, and the directors have been women, and it's very chill and relaxing, and just, it's great. So... There is a change, you know. It's you know not happening fast enough, but yeah, it's definitely things are happening. So, thank you so much. Thank you so much for chatting and enjoy your evening. Okay, peace, everybody. Awesome. And are you involved with the film? Huh? Are you involved yeah, with I'm the actually, film? Yeah, uh, I'm actually one of Corey's. I'm Corey's music manager. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah. awesome. Um, so can you tell me about your involvement with the film and with Corey? Well, I'm Corey's music manager, okay. So I do a lot of the radio promotion and everything else, and also just everything from the day-to-day -day as far as getting the stuff going, helping with the promotions, and you know, all of that. So I'm here with Thalia DaCosta, and right here is the TV, David Ruffin Jr., one of my other clients. We've been out here recording all week, and excited to be here. Uh, and can you tell me a little bit about Corey um, and his personality and the courage that he has had to have to tell this story? I don't know how he's doing it, okay? Everything that is going on, putting this together, funding the money, finding the people to push it, and just getting it all off the ground and four-walling this whole thing himself, it's beyond impressive to me. I love working for the guy, he's amazing. And what's something about Corey that people wouldn't know, um, that you would want them to know, to come and see this film and his story that he's got to tell? He's the most honest guy I've ever met. So there's no reason not to see this. There's no reason not to be here. There's no reason not to believe anything that you see. This is not leaving Neverland. This is a real, true story. And how important do you think it is to speak out uh, within, you know, not just the entertainment industry, but, you know, music and every industry there is? Not only is it important to speak out for children, but I find it to be uh, even harder for heterosexual men to speak out about abuse and it, the rumors are true that children are put at risk when they start working in an industry that they're just not ready for yet. So I think that this is very important, that it's not only women too, it's kids too, it's just everything isn't as shiny and wonderful as you think it is. You have to take care of each other and um, know there's dangers everywhere. And what, do you, uh, what can we do to make a change in the industry? Uh, I would say um, just more awareness, like situations and uh, campaigns like this like Me Too and Children USA, um, bringing more awareness, putting it in the light, in the social media, and in the news, seeing as those are the main ways that people are getting their information nowadays. And what are your thoughts on uh, movies and TV shows making a difference and uh, sparking conversation like Me Too? You want to take that? 
<laughs> um, absolutely awesome. That's what the medium is supposed to be for. It's not just makeup tutorials and BS who's number one at this or that. It's, it's a great tool for us to, to talk to each other. And victims can tell their stories. We can get better. And perhaps uh, we can use the mediums to do everything much better, which is <gasps> relate and get better. Yeah. Thank you so much for chatting and enjoy the premiere. Thank you. Take care. Uh, can you tell me about your involvement with Corey? Well, I'm um, I'm a guitar player, and I've been in the band Corey's Angels for a couple years now, and um, I'm here to support Corey because what's going to happen right now, when with the releasing of the names, is going to be very scary and possibly dangerous. Yeah, so um, there's a lot of evil and pedophilia going on with children or casting couch with situations with actresses as well so that needs to change because there's also a lot of good in Hollywood and I think exposing them for what they're doing and, and exposing the evil they're doing it's about time that this happens and for people that are um, working for good start making positive films as opposed to all this evil you know, um, stuff that's going on in Hollywood and these, uh, they're like uh, groups that do devil worship and just evil things, you know, to children. Or It needs to end and it needs to stop. So that's why I'm here and that's why I'm supporting Corey. Thank you so much for chatting.